Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. So I am here in Adrian Brightmore's lab where I have developed some of the newest technology. And here is the elevator. Let me place it here. You see, in this state it is a turned off block. It doesn't do anything. However, if I power it with some redstone, you see, it's going to turn on. If I just hop onto it, you see, it elevated me high up here. And of course, this is because it is not that strongly powered. You see, the redstone dust already lost some of its strength just um, on all of the distance. However, I can go even higher. Let's say I'm putting the torch here. See, now I'm on top of the head. And of course, I do not want to be mob grinded. This is not something which I desire. So I'm just quickly going to get out of here. And I can even get just right on top of the whole thing. I simply power it here you see um, it's a very strong uh, redstone signal or even better if I put it here you see it elevated me 16 blocks high just right on top of this awesome lab and yeah Hoodala your challenge has been accepted let me try to explain to you how this works first of all what we have here is the actual elevator. You see, it works even if I'm game of three. Um, when I'm putting down the squid egg with the custom name elevator, these command blocks are going to um, handle the spawning. So if we have a squid called elevator, we are going to summon an invisible, invulnerable armor stand with no gravity. Then we are going to set its elevator score to 1, so we can um, target him later using that score. And then we are going to summon this cow, uh, which you cannot see right now. But here it is, it's invisible. And um, it has an absorption amount of 10. This is um, important later when we are getting to the removal of the whole thing. You see, when clicking like this, you can simply remove the whole thing. And yeah, then uh, just some uh, more stuff, which is too detailed to explain it to you. I'm just um, going over the, the general concept behind this. Um, we have this armor stand with the elevator score of one then. And um, what's going to happen is we have a slash stats command. And this is the first really interesting part because under this, uh, under this uh, block here, we um, you see it's flickering, and this is because there is constantly being a redstone wire put there, which then connects to the redstone next to it, uh, redstone blocks, redstone torches, like any sort of control of power. And using the slash stats commands, I am uh, uh, testing whether the redstone wire has a um, power value of 15. If so, we're going to set the signal score to 15. If it has uh, 14, we're going to set the score to 14. And this, these are all of these command blocks. So if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar signal, it's just scoreboard players reset signal like this. Um, you see, uh, this signal score is at 13 at the moment. And if I put the redstone block a bit closer, you see it's 14, this way it's 15. So the signal score basically keeps track of the redstone input. This is a pretty cool concept and this was probably the most tricky part to come up with. Um, then after that, uh, what's going to happen is the redstone wire is going to be replaced with a barrier block, which makes it so I cannot walk right through it. 
To make the elevator have this custom texture, what I am doing every tick is summoning a falling sand at the location of the armor stand with a slight upwards motion and if the signal score is zero, it's going to have a data value of zero, meaning it looks like this retextured sand. Otherwise, I'm going to take this texture of red sand. This was just done by a custom block model and it wasn't really hard to create. Finally, the teleportation system. This is pretty simple as well. All we have is a scoreboard player's operation command, which basically sets the TP score for every entity which is right on top of the armor stand to the signal value of the armor stand. Meaning if the armor stand has a signal value of 15, my teleportation score is going to be set to 15 as well. Every tick, all of the entities with a TP score of at least one are going to be teleported one block in the air and their TP score is going to be reduced. So if I have a TP score of 15, 15 times I'm going to be teleported up by one block. And finally for the removal, we have that invisible cow which I've showed you earlier. And basically I'm testing for the NBT data of that cow and I only give it a certain scoreboard value if its absorption amount is exactly 10. Meaning if I damage it somehow, um, it's simply going to cause the scoreboard to not be applied and the cow commits suicide and takes the armor stand with it. And yeah, that's basically everything about it. Um, this challenge was a pretty cool one because it uh, I had to invent a new technique of actually finding out the signal strength uh, of redstone at a specific location uh, without actually having uh, a permanent redstone wire at that position. That was pretty cool. And if you want your challenge to be in the next episode, feel free to post it down in the comments. Um, maybe it's going to be used by me. Thanks for watching. As always, some feedback is very appreciated. If you like the series, feel free to leave a nice comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.